Great. Increasing and decreasing functions. Hit pause. Copy the lesson objective down. When you're ready, hit play. And we'll talk about increasing and decreasing functions. By differentiating, we can find the gradient, and that can tell us if a function is increasing or decreasing. So here we've got uh, a function, with its gradient is positive. So if it's got a positive gradient, that means it's an increasing function. Okay, And we've got this function here with a negative gradient, and this function is decreasing. What I want you to do now is to hit pause, make a sketch of these two curves and uh, make some notes. Once you're ready, hit play and we're going to look at the function that's increasing and decreasing. Okay. So here we have this curve and we've got up to x equals zero from here to x equals zero. It's an increasing function. From zero, so greater than zero for x, it decreases over this range here. So it's got, it's both increasing and decreasing, but it's over different ranges. So we can say for x less than zero, the function is increasing, but for x greater than zero, the function is decreasing. And at x equals zero, this point here, we have what's known as a stationary point. Okay, so. Uh, Quick sketch, some notes, and once you've done that, hit play and we'll look at an example. Okay, for this example, show that the function f of x equals x cubed plus 24x plus 3 is an increasing function. So f of x, we can write that as y. We could keep the same notation, but y is fine x cubed plus 24x plus 3. If we differentiate this function, dy by dx, gives us term by term 3x squared plus 24. Now, if we look at this term, we want to determine if it's increasing or decreasing. Now, whatever value for all values of x, This function here, 3x squared, is always going to be positive. Because if it's negative, we square it, it becomes positive. So this value is always going to be positive, And plus 24 is always positive. So for all values of x, dy by dx is positive. Therefore, the function is increasing. So it's an always increasing function. Um, well, what I want you to do is pause, hit pause, make some notes. I also want you to type in that function in, um, in Desmos and have a look at it, see what it looks like. Okay, so hit pause, make some notes. Once you've done, hit play and we'll look at another example. Okay, in this example, we want to find a range of values where the function is a decreasing function. So our function, y, which is x cubed plus 3x squared minus 9x. Differentiate this function, dy by dx, we get term by term 3x squared plus 6x minus 9. Decreasing function has a negative gradient. Therefore, dy by dx is going to be less than zero. So that means that we can say that 3x squared plus 6x minus 9 is less than zero. And we can factorize this then. So 3x squared, so we've got um, x and 3x, okay? So if we take our 3, it's broken down into 1 and 3, and we've got minus 9, I'm going to go with 3 and 3. 
Now, 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 1 is 3. So 9 take away 3 gives me 6. That works. It's got to be a positive 6. So oh, minus is going to be there. So the x has got to multiply to minus 3. So minus 3 goes here. And the 3 has got to multiply the 3, which is positive here. Okay. So this implies the critical values are where either x plus 3 equals 0 or 3x minus 3 is equal to 0, which implies that x is equal to minus 3 or x is equal to 3 over 3, which is 1. So those are our critical values. Now, if we do a quick sketch of the cubic curve, we've got our y and x. This function, as x tends to minus infinity, because it's cubic, y is also going to tend to minus infinity, so it's going to be heading down that way. And as if as x tends to positive infinity, it's going to, y is also going to tend to positive infinity. So it's going to look like this. If you're unsure, um, have a look back at your notes. So we've got a minus 3, which is going to be... Hmm, my curve isn't uh, at the right value there. But Im imagine it's not to scale. And here we're starting with minus 3. And here is going to be 1. So scale's gone to pot there. But between three and minus 3 and 1 is a decreasing, um, decreasing function. And the gradient is less than 0. So it's over that interval. Where... So minus 3 is less than x, which is going to be less than 1. So that's the range for a decreasing function. Oops. Okay. So hit pause. Copy the notes down. Sketch the graph. We're always sketching the graph. I can put my x here. Try and do a better scale than mine. Once you've done that, I've got some uh, questions for you to attempt. And we have exercise 12G, just the four questions. Uh, it won't take you hardly any time at all. I shall put the uh, questions with the assignment. So, good luck.